everyone, it's Ben with Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks for checking out this lesson. We're gonna do Bring It On Home by Led Zeppelin off Led Zeppelin 2. This is a great riff oriented tune. Lots of good stuff in here, some blues, some rock. It's Led Zeppelin, so you get a little bit of both. Uh, so let's check it out. We're gonna start with the blues opening on this. And this is a great little blues boogie shuffle kind of riff that works well for this tune but if you find yourself in a blues jam session or something it's a great pattern you can use for that too so the song is in the key of e and for the first part of the tune it's just guitar vocal and harmonica and we have this sort of vibe happening Once you get into that groove, you're just going to sit there for quite a while. And what this is, is just string six and five. And we're going to alternate between the second fret and the fourth fret. And you want to get this staggered eighth note, shuffle, swung kind of thing happening. And then to differentiate it, What that is, is just third fret and fourth fret. You hammer on into the fourth fret and then come up to the second fret. And then with the right hand, we'll do a little bit of palm muting. We'll let the fleshy part of our palm rest on the strings. Give a little bit of a deadening effect. And you just get into that groove. You'll sit there for quite a while. And then eventually, you take that whole thing and you just move it down to the fifth and fourth string. So this would imply an A chord. We're just playing blues changes E, A, and B in this opening part here. So the exact same thing. Literally, we just transplanted everything down a string here. Listen to the song for the changes. The vocals will tell you where to go if you listen for them. The last part of our change is going to be a little bit more challenging in terms of the stretch here. We're going to make sure that we have the second fret on the fifth string and the fourth fret on the fourth string. And now what we're going to do is essentially the same pattern without the little uh, embellishment that we saw in the first two. So you're going to hold down these two, but now we need to stretch this pinky finger out to the sixth fret. So if this is new to you, this takes a little while, but this is such a, a great thing to be able to do is get that pinky stretch happening. From there we go back to the A. You can throw in the embellishment if you want to, or keep it simple if you want to back to E. Now you repeat. And then the song kind of has a fake ending right there as if we were just playing a blues song that would be the end and we kick into the more rocking section where we have some different riffs. Hey if you want an additional lesson on soloing this tune is a great song to jam over have some fun with. We want to send you a free video lesson. All you have to do is click on the link that you see below. Click on that link and we will send you the free video lesson and corresponding ebook from Epic Guitar Instruction. So a note on the tone here, I'm on the neck pickup here and I rolled back my, my tone knob just to kind of give it that chill bluesy vibe so that when I kick into the rocking section, I go to my bridge pickup, open up the volume all the way, kick on a distortion pedal, and then we're into this part of the tune. And for this part of the tune, we're basically dealing with two different sections. And we're gonna teach you how to uh, layer this riff here, which is a pretty cool thing that we hear in the recording. 
uh, in the first section and we'll also go over the second section. So we start off here and what we're gonna do is play the fifth string open and hammer to the second fret. And you do the same thing on the fourth string. And then you hit the sixth string open. Okay, second half of our riff is gonna be the second fret third string. You're gonna push that up a whole step and then come back down and we close out like that so that's bend up two one two one two so first half second half and you just put those together and repeat second time you don't finish it all the way down here second time we go through it's like this and that's it and you go back and forth between those two Now on the recording, we are multi-tracking. We're in when we're in the studio, or if we have a looper, we can layer several guitar parts on top of one another. And he does this to great effect here. Uh, this guy, this guy right here, who had his guitar broken. Be careful, kids, with the Les Paul. The necks can break if you don't put them away properly, uh, or if you dust them at an inopportune time. Very unfortunate here. But he's still rocking, and so are we. That's a horrible accident that it was. Figure it was a, went through. It was a tra travesty, tragedy. So be careful with the Les Paul kids. I have a crack in mine. I dodged a bullet too. Uh, but we can layer that part. That's what we're talking about. We're stoked to do that. We take that same riff and we move it up an octave. We play it in the twelfth position, and we have guitar mini goodness. So we're up here at the twelfth fret. This used to be open in the other position. Now it's at the 12th fret, so we're gonna go 12th fret, hammer to 14. Same thing next string. And this used to be open, but now it needs to be fretted here at the 12th fret. So the first half of our harmony riff, which is really just doubled an octave higher, not really a harmony, I guess. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same bend here, only it's gonna be from the 14th fret. And it's the same motion as we did back in the open position. 14 bend up, back down. 13, 14, 13, 14 on string four. Now there's another double on there that's really neat. And by itself, it sounds a little funky, but when you put it all together, it sounds pretty cool. And here's the last one. It's 12th fret of the third string. It goes like this. So that is 12th fret hammer to 13. 12th, 14, close off on the 13th. And then here we bend the 14th fret note up, back down. So it follows the same rhythm as the other riffs. So the first time it goes like that, second time we go. And together these form a nice big riff when stacked together on top of one another. So there we have all three of them played at the same time. Kind of a neat effect that you hear from the recording. The other part of the tune is just a little groove based thing that we see happening while the 
vocals or verse is happening. And let's break that down for you now. We're going to be playing some double stops on strings two and three. The first double stop that we're going to hit is the fourth and third fret on strings two and three. Then you're going to hit the second fret, same two strings. And then you're going to hit just the third string. If you play the second string open to, that's cool, it'll work. And you're going to hammer on to the first fret. So three basic locations, right there, right here, and right here. But you're gonna hammer into this last one. And then we're gonna put an alternating tail at the end of that little sequence of double stops. The first tail is going to be third fret sixth string to an A power chord. So first time through. Second time through, you're just going to change the last two strikes. So you just go from the third fret of the sixth string to the open. So just kind of getting a feel for those locations, and then we add in the groove. If we add a little bit more in the right hand, kind of get a little bit more of a flow going. So we're kind of thinking this sort of a rhythm. And if you do that before you start playing these locations, it helps you get into that flow that we hear of that groove there. And so we're just alternating between those two sections. That's basically the idea. That goes on for a while. You go one section, go the other, back and forth. And then eventually we close out of this song back to the blues progression, kind of the tail end of it. So if you recall this. And we have a nice little lick there that we can take a look at for the ending. For the ending lick, we're going to grab the 12th fret of the high E string. And you're going to park that, set it, and forget it while we play some other things here. This is double ninth fret at strings two and four. So we go both of those notes, then the twelfth fret first string, and then just back to the second string. So this stays the same. These two fingers are going to move up a half step, up a half step. And by the time you get to the 12th fret, you can use one finger for all of those. And then we close out with an E7 chord. We can play that here. We can play that here. I thought this was a really kind of clever way to end that. Sometimes we hear... In a blues song, but he kind of has that extra little note in there that sets it apart. So kind of a nice way to end it. Anyhow, that is Bring It On Home, Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page with the broken guitar and all. We thank you so much for joining us. If you like the lesson, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we'll tell you when we bring new lessons. Leave us a comment below. I thank you so much. Once again, my name is Ben for Epic Guitar Instruction and I will see you next time.